The Disability Law Center is the protection and advocacy agency for the state of Utah. The DLC assists people with disabilities with a variety of issues. The DLC also has a fair housing program to address discrimination in housing, which is available to people who belong to all protected classes, not just people with disabilities. There are a number of things in housing situations that landlords shouldn't be doing. We'll go through some examples now. One method of discrimination is refusing to rent or sell to someone because they belong to one of the protected classes. The federally protected classes are race, color, national origin, religion, sex, familial status, and disability. In Utah, there are three additional protected classes which are source of income, sexual orientation, and gender identity. Statements like, we don't rent to refugees, or we don't take housing vouchers, are blanket statements which might indicate an owner's refusal to rent or sell to someone who is protected. Oftentimes, however, this refusal is much more subtle, and the person experiencing discrimination may not even know what has happened to them. Secondly, refusing to negotiate for housing is discrimination. This is where someone doesn't have a chance to get their foot in the door to have a conversation about a place to live. Examples of this would be an owner hanging up on a person when they hear an accent, or just not calling someone back who leaves a message. Next, making housing unavailable is also a form of discrimination. This is where a housing provider is dishonest with someone looking for a place to live about the unit's availability. An owner might tell one person it's already been rented and tell another that it's available just to screen out people they don't want to rent to. Additionally, denying a dwelling is when a housing provider denies a person's application based on their protected class status. This is also discrimination. Another way a landlord may discriminate is to falsely say that a unit is unavailable for inspection. Because most people would want the opportunity to look at a unit before they sign a lease, being falsely told that a unit is unavailable for inspection has the same effect as a denial of housing. If there is something at an apartment complex for people to use or have access to, generally, everyone should have access, not just select groups of people. Housing providers should not set different terms, fees, or conditions dependent upon membership in a protected class. For example, rent should not be $1,000 for someone who is white and $1,500 for someone who is black. It should be $1,000 for everyone if that is the advertised price. The last example of discriminatory conduct is called steering. This is when different housing options are offered to different individuals or groups of people. Someone might be steered to a different neighborhood because an owner might think it's a better fit somewhere else. Families with children are often steered to basement apartments. The problem with steering is that a person's choice in where they can live is taken away from them. Discrimination in housing can be subtle and hard to detect, and a person may not even know it is happening to them. Sometimes a person may have only a feeling that they are being discriminated against. If you suspect any discrimination is happening, here are some things you can do. Write down what you think is occurring as soon as you suspect anything. Document conversations that you have with your landlord. Keep any information that may be related to your situation, which could be used to verify your claims of discrimination, and ask for any communication with your landlord in writing. In Utah, it is generally legal to record a conversation that you were a part of. This can help you obtain evidence you can use to prove that discrimination is occurring. Another way to do it is to take notes right after any conversation or interaction you have in a journal of some kind. If you or someone you know has experienced housing discrimination or you would like more information about fair housing, you can contact the Disability Law Center by calling 1-800-662-9080, emailing us at fairhousing at disabilitylawcenter.org, or by visiting our website www.disabilitylawcenter.org. You may also contact UALD by calling 801 530 6800 or the HUD regional office by calling 1-800-877-7353 to file a complaint on your own.